Wednesday, August 30th, 2023, Afternoon Edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated video. Good afternoon, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning in to the Future of News, AGNDD, and Report. As always, I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in summarizing the news. Without further ado, here are the headlines of the day. Sony introduces new A7C2 and A7CR cameras. Headline not specified. Starfield RPG owes existence to Traveler Tabletop Game. Prescriptions for produce improve patient health. Study. Alibaba and China stocks rebound. Long-term gains uncertain. Telemarketers expose as inspiring and hilarious. Rare blue supermoon lights up the night sky and more. But first, let's take a look at this day in history. August 30th in history. August 30th, 70. Titus ends the siege of Jerusalem after destroying Herod's temple. August 30th, 1594. King James VI of Scotland holds a mask at the baptism of Prince Henry at Stirling Castle. Today's obituaries. Could bet in our zoo. Brief Wikipedia summary. Kutbet Inazu, a Turkish politician who served as the Minister of Food, Agriculture and Livestock in 2015, has passed away at the age of 68. He was also a former Member of Parliament for the Electoral District of Diyarbakir from 2007 to 2011. Mizad Abdul Kudus was a Bangladeshi politician who served as a Member of Parliament for five terms representing the Nator 4 constituency. He was a member of the Bangladesh Awami League party. Sadly, he passed away at the age of 76. Dai Shimamura. Brief Wikipedia summary. Dai Shimamura was a Japanese politician who served as a member of parliament since 2013. He graduated from Tokyo Dental College in 1985 and worked in the industry before entering politics. Shimamura passed away on August 30th, 2023, at the age of 63. Famous people born on this day. Barbara Ansel. Here is a recap of their Wikipedia page. Barbara Ansel was an English physician and author who specialized in pediatric rheumatology. She made significant contributions to the field particularly in defining chronic joint disorders and improving their management. She was recognized as a world leader in the care of childhood arthritis. Ansel passed away in 2001 at the age of 78. Warren Buffett. Here is a recap of their Wikipedia page. This article provides a brief summary of Warren Buffett's life and accomplishments. It mentions that he is an American businessman and philanthropist currently serving as the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway. Buffett is known for his investment success and adherence to value investing principles. He is also a noted philanthropist, pledging to give away 99% of his fortune. And now on to today's news. General news. U.S. stock futures pause ahead of Jolt's data with jobs report and focus, Barron's the article provides live updates on various financial markets, including stocks, bonds, oil, and cryptocurrencies. Rare blue supermoon brightens the night sky this week in the closest full moon of the year, NBC Bay Area. A rare blue supermoon, the closest full moon of the year, will appear exceptionally large and bright on Wednesday night. Saturn will also be visible near the moon. The next blue supermoon won't occur until 2037. Apple announces Wonderlust event, expected to feature iPhone 15, Apple Watch Series 9, and more. McCroomers. Apple is planning a special event on September 12th to introduce new products, including the iPhone 15 models with updated 5G chips, USB-C ports, and possibly a 3 nanometer chip in the Pro models. The event will be held at the Steve Jobs Theater. Article title not found. Business news. Article title not found. 
Alibaba and other China stocks rise again. Why long-term gains may be harder. Ellipsis Barons. Chinese shares increased for a second day following a stimulus from Beijing, which helped boost the equity market. However, this does not resolve China's larger economic problems. Heiko stock falls after the aerospace supplier's earnings beat. Here's why, Barons. The company exceeded Wall Street's expectations by reporting fiscal third quarter sales of around $723 million, compared to the predicted $702 million. Technology news. Sony splits its small full-frame mirrorless camera into two with the new A7C2 and 61 megapixel A7CR The Verge. The Sony A7C2 camera features a larger 33MP back-illuminated CMOS sensor, an improved electronic viewfinder, a grippier leatherette, a deeper hand grip, and more customizable settings. Despite these enhancements, the author suggests mark on users wait for the next generation before upgrading. Starfield owes its existence to Traveler, one of the first role-playing games, Polygon. Bethesda Softworks' new space opera game, Starfield, has been heavily influenced by the tabletop role-playing game Traveler. The game, first published in 1977, takes place in humanity's distant future and allows players to roam an open-ended galaxy. Bethesda's game will offer over 1,000 worlds to explore. Mortal Kombat 1, official live-action trailer featuring Dave Bautista, IGN. Sports News. Carlson and Neiman resolved cheating claim dispute that divided chess financial times. World number one chess player Magnus Carlson and rising U.S. star Hans Neiman have settled their dispute over cheating allegations that led to a $100 million lawsuit. Neiman was reinstated on chess.com with no restrictions, and Carlson is willing to play against him in future events. Brewers 6, Cubs 2, first inning woes, bleed Cubby Blue. The Cubs lost 6-2 to to the Brewers in the series opener at Wrigley Field. The Cubs have been outscored 75-67 to in the first inning this year, with 31 of those runs allowed since the All-Star break. Jamison Tylone, who allowed four of those runs in the first inning, was criticized for his performance. Health news. Prescriptions for produce. Patient health improves when programs pay for fruits and veggies. New study says Forbes. The article discusses the positive impact of produce prescription programs on participants, resulting in improved BMI, blood sugar, and blood pressure levels. In promising early trial, oral drug cuts heart disease marker by up to 65%. Science alert. The experimental drug, Muvalaplin, developed by Eli Lilly, has shown promising results in its first human trial, reducing levels of vessel-clogging lipoprotein, EA, or LPA. The drug was well tolerated and demonstrated no serious adverse effects. Muvalaplin is now undergoing phase two trials. Entertainment news. HBO's Telemarketers is an inspiring, hilarious expose, the AV Club. The HBO documentary series Telemarketers, produced by Danny McBride and the Safdie brothers, explores the predatory practices of telemarketing firm Civic Development Group. The series is led by co-director Sam Lipman Stern and investigator Patrick Pespus, who exposed the firm's exploitation of vulnerable workers and unethical fundraising tactics. The series is praised for its authentic depiction of reality and its empathetic portrayal of its subjects. Christopher Nolan cut 30 Oppenheimer filming days to free up money for sets. The production designer describes it as the most incredible thing from Variety. Christopher Nolan cut around 30 filming days from the production of Oppenheimer to allocate more of the film's budget to production design and set locations. This allowed production designer Ruth De Jong to reconstruct Los Alamos from scratch in New Mexico. WWE wrestler Bray Wyatt died during nap. Fiance found him turning blue. Report NDTV. WWE star Bray Wyatt, real name Wyndham Rotunda, has died at the age of 36 from a heart attack. His death comes months after he had COVID-19 and developed heart complications. 
Wyatt was a three-time world champion in WWE. Hope you enjoyed this AGNDD Intel I report. Like subscribe and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.